which spring from the sacrifice of those by naked humility, sorrow for sin, meekness, that for righteousness, mercy, purity, peace, and suffering under persecution. The whiteness of the cross is a traditional symbol of purity and is therefore a reminder of the purity of life expected of all the world, of all who seek to follow Jesus Christ. The cross itself is the outward sign of our duty to uphold the Christian faith and to serve the poor, the sick, and all who suffer. Could I ask for the postulates to see the previous
Professor Anne Kagure Karani. <laughs> uh, Thomas Othiabo Onyonyo. Dr. Manoj Shah. And my Lord Prior, we shall now proceed to the officers. Haron Kimani Gikera. Respa Anyango Gogo. Eli Mugo Karubuti. Patricia Wairimu Kiwanuka. <laughs> Patricia Wairimu Kiwanuka. Lucy Wajiru Murumbi. Pius Opanga. Captain Collins Waderi. Your Excellency, sir, the next batch will be receiving their awards as members. John Ochieng. Florence Fiba Adiambo, Tedman Maina, Pauline Akinyi, Charles Mukala. Mwatia.
All come out, Zairu. Andrew Mashangia. Would the newly invested and received members of the order now start up so the prior can receive you? All the postulants, please start up. Rice Conferrea, I receive you as a, a knight of the most venerable order. That's all. That's it. Send this way. We have received you and now welcome you as members of the most venerable order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem. May you ever be worthy and faithful members of our most venerable order. Be loyal to your sovereign, true to your honor, and faithful to the order and its values. We wish you all prosperity and heavenly blessings. May God protect you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Please take your seats. We are on page 15 of our programs. The order into which you have been invested is a Christian order of Cravery. It roots goes back many centuries to the first hospital in Jerusalem. The order of St. John has a long and fantastic history. The nature of the order is a Christian order. However, it is not just about its foundation and history. It is a present reality. You have today even been invested into this present reality. If you are a Christian, all of no particular faith, you are invited to take part with the other members of the order in a journey, during which we hope that your commitment to the Christian aspect of our order will deepen and be brought to life. If you are of another faith, we equally welcome you, and we hope that you will wish to run more about the Christian faith as you make your journey alongside us. We respect those of all faiths, 
and we are delighted to have you with us in this service to the poor and the sick. You have been given an order of daily prayer, which we hope Christian members of the order will find helpful during their journey with us. We hope that those of other faiths will join us in their own prayers for the whole family of St. John's in all its many and various works of service. As your sub previous, I pray that may God bless you on this journey. Amen. I take this opportunity to congratulate all those who have received the awards today. Tuapigie shangwe na vigeregele, jameni. It is a, indeed a great honor to receive the awards. Your Excellency the President and my Lord Prior, that brings the aid at the investiture service. We shall all start up and sing the hymn on the program. very short homily being a church service. Almighty God, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. As the sub priests of the prior of Kenya, I say welcome to all to this investing service. Your Excellency, the President, our prior 
Chief Patron, we shall remain grateful for all the support and thank you for attending this service. To all those who have been invested, remember the words of exaltation from the prior, that the cross that you have received is a sign of redemption of humanity. The cross speaks of humility, solo for sin, meekness, thus for righteousness, mercy, purity, peace, and suffering. The world religions, let it be Christian, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, just to mention a few, promote humanity. It promotes peace. It promotes the service to human being and God. All the holy writings that are there encourage us to go out there and do good. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man sows, that is what he will harvest. Verses 9 says, Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we shall harvest if we do not grow weary. So then, while we have the opportunity, let us do good to all men, and especially to those who are of the house of the faith. Life is a gift from God, and it belongs to him. One day, every one of us will stand before the judgment throne. Pray for me as I pray for you, that we shall hear the Almighty saying to us, you have been faithful, reliable, trustworthy, and dependable servants of mine on earth inherit the kingdom that was prepared for you. Who doesn't want to be congratulated for being a good servant? As I come to a close of it, can I remind us that Kenya is our country? We don't have any other country. Let us all pray and work for the peace of our country and especially as we head to the general elections. Elections come and they go, but Kenya will remain Kenya, and nothing is important than peace. And we all know the meaning of the word peace. Comrades, the St. John's community, I pray that you go there out and struggle to do good. For as the Bible says, if you know the good that you ought to do and you don't do it, you are a sinner. Pray for me as I pray for you that one day we shall all be counted as approved servants of St. John's, whether we are the commander, the officers, or the members. Arise, humble yourself before God, and let God lift you up. As your sub prelate of the prior of Kenya, count on my prayers, my advice, and my support. To the Almighty God be the kingdom, the power, and the glory now and forever. Amen. I invite the provost to do the prayers. Thank you very much, Bishop Muturi. And as the sub prelate, mine is now to welcome the prayer of the Priory of Kenya, Mr. Paul Ndungu, 
to make a few remarks and welcome the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Senator Honor Honorable Mutahi Kagwe, before His Excellency the President comes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have called us to serve you and to serve the people, especially the poor and the suffering. We pray that through this service we will be encouraged to serve others. We pray that each one of us in places of influence that you have placed us will be careful to use our influence in lifting others and serving them. We pray for St. John's and the work that they do that they may be a blessing to this nation. We ask for your blessings on all the staff who serve, that they may do it with dedication and love. And the services they render to the people will honor and glorify you. We speak your blessings upon their work in the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I shall ask that we all say the prayer of the order as on our program. Preserve us, O Lord, in the number of the faithful. Grant us means and opportunity to do good, resolution to persevere, and grace to attain eternal life, so that as we have been united in Christ's service on earth, we may also be united in his presence in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you and with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I will now hand over the program to uh, Ms. Sarah Mauti from State Functions. Asanti na pongezi kwa wote ambao muliweza kutuzwa. Uh, kwa sasa tutaingia katika kipindi cha hotuba. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na Amiri Jeshi Mkuu aliyekuwa naibu wa Rais Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Msyoka, Waziri katika Wizara ya Afya Mheshimiwa Seneta Mutai Kagwe, Gavana wa Nairobi, washirika wote wa shirika hili tajika la St John's. Wageni waalikwa mabibi na mabwana Kwa rusa yako mwishmi wa rais, ni kubalie niweze kumwalika mwenye kiti wa kamati kuu ya shirika hili nchini, bwana Paul Ndungu. Akukaribishe rasmi na azungumze kwa kifupi. Karibu sana mwenye kiti. Uh, Your Excellency, the President of Kenya, distinguished uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen, with your permission, Your Excellency, I would like to ask my council members who are here to just stand so that we can uh, recognize them. <clears throat> Your Excellency, sit down, please. Your Excellency, those are the ladies and gentlemen with whom we run uh, St. John, Kenya. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Your Excellency, once again, I extend to you a very, very warm and cordial welcome to this uh, event. We are particularly grateful that uh, you were able to spare time and come and witness uh, this uh, installation of those of our members who have rendered exemplary service 
to St. John during the last one or two years. Thank you, sir. St. John, Kenya was first introduced in 1923 by a gentleman called R.C.A. Cavendish, who was then commissioner of the Kenya police. He dubbed up, doubled up as the first commissioner of St. John Association of Kenya. It was in 1928 that the Kenyan established was formally recognized as an association then called District of the Order of St. John. During this time, St. John Association witnessed tremendous growth in its membership, which spread to workers engaged in the railways and the port of Mombasa. As the first ambulance was introduced in 1939, the charity started becoming a household name, providing first aid services and training communities. On 12th of December 1963, during the country's independence celebrations, St. John first aid posts treated more than 1,000 casualties who were injured in celebrations and excitement of a new country. His Excellency, Muzei Jomo Kenyatta, became the first Kenyan chief patron of St. John Ambulance in Kenya. In 1965, President Kenyatta invested Sir Charles Markham as the first commander brother, a rank which was very high in the organization at the time. This was followed by another colorful uh, investiture for the chairman of the National Council, Mr. Rupert Main, and Mombasa Area Commissioner, Mr. J.D. Shah, at State House in Nairobi. On the 22nd of March, 1972, the date was ripe for investiture of His Excellency the President, the Red Musa Kenyatta, is a night of grace of the order of St. John. I should uh, mention here that uh, we early alone discussed with our current president uh, and invited him to accept the honor that has been bestowed on him already by the queen and we shall be having that ceremony uh, in the course of the next uh, few months. So we thank you, sir. In 1979, the St. John Ambulance of Kenya Incorporation Act, CAP 259, was passed into law by Parliament, giving way to its establishment in Kenya with mandates to provide technical support to government on matters of first aid and emergency services. On 5th December 2013, the organization marked another great day in its history by being elevated from an association to a priory. This auspicious occasion, this auspicious inauguration was presided by the Lord Prior, Professor Anthony Mellos, at All Saints Cathedral. And His Excellency the President witnessed that ceremony as well. Today, St. John Kenya continues to expand its programs to keep up with the changing demands in the communities. The Priory supports and runs a number of community projects across the country while raising awareness on the need to empower people to look after their health and make first aid part of the everyday life. Um, Your Excellency the President, I should uh, probably just mention that uh, uh, 
there are only two priories on the continent of Africa. One is in South Africa, and the other one is here. All the other priories of, uh, of the order are to be found in uh, various countries overseas, so that uh, we should all feel very, very proud that uh, Kenya is the leader in this order on the continent of Africa. Uh, you may have noted uh, the president and I and others having a look at the ambulance outside. Now, the reason we were doing that is because that ambulance and another one which was on the other side, exactly similar, those were personal donations of His Excellency the President. Uh, that was uh, the time we had uh, the, the, the annual parade at uh, State House, and out of the blue, the president just said, I give you 10, 10 million shillings because you are doing a good job. <laughs> and the governing council then decided to invest that money in the purchase of those two first class ambulances. We bought them from Dubai. So we thank you again, Your Excellency. Uh, that's all I had to say. Thank you. Asanti sana mwenyekiti na kwa sasa mwishmi wa rais kwa mara nyingine nikubalie niweze kumualika waziri wa afya uh, mwishmi wa seneta mtai kagwe angalau akukaribishe pia rasmi. Karibu sana mwishmi. Your Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the former Vice President, the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, the patron of the Prao, Praorio St. John's, Mas, uh, the Honorable Masden Madoka, the Prao of the Praorio of the Order of St. John, Paul Dungo, Distinguished friends, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Ministry of Health, Your Excellency, allow me to first congratulate all those who have been awarded today and recognized as uh, volunteers in the fight against all ills in humanity. I thank you on behalf of the Ministry of Health who work very, very closely with the Order of St. John and we will continue to work very closely with the Order of St. John. Your Excellency, we consider the Order of St. John as a partner in the healthcare system of our nation. And the spirit of volunteerism that has permeated from St. John has now taken root in the Ministry of Health through community health volunteers and other workers who we appreciate and recognize. As we congratulate those who are awarded today, we also want to say thank you to those out there whose names are not here, but whose work has helped and saved lives of many Kenyans. So, Your Excellency, with those few remarks, it is now my distinguished pleasure to invite you to come and speak to the Order of St. John, as well as Kenyans at large. Could you please rise to welcome the President. Thank you, please be seated. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everybody.
Let me begin by saying how pleased I am to join you today on this most historic occasion of the admission of 31 postulants into this truly remarkable order. Permit me at the very onset to thank all the members of the St. John Kenya Fraternity for their service, their sacrifice, and for making the lives of Kenyans immensely better. This feat has been realized through exemplary work that straddles various volunteer services, including ambulance services, highway emergency response, first aid and safety training, maternal health care, and advocacy, amongst others. In addition to directly and positively impacting the lives of millions of Kenyans through your service, St. John has also inculcated in the hearts of millions of our youth the value of volunteerism and service to others. So many men and women in every area of life have been led by the light of your duty and devotion, and we thank each and every one of you for your exemplary service. Indeed, in the words of Mother Teresa, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. So to you all who have received the various honors today, a grateful nation thanks you. And indeed, on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, we acknowledge and appreciate Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the sovereign head of the Order of St. John, for recognizing these 31 members of St. John Kenya, as published in the London Gazette of 20th January 2022, for their distinguished and outstanding contribution to the life-saving mission of the Order of St. John. Ongera san, ongera. Today's investiture ceremony is a long-standing tradition celebrating the Order's cardinal beatitudes that have inspired and guided all members for many, many generations. Let me also today acknowledge the growing collaboration between the Ministry of Health and St. John Ambulance Services in the management of ambulance fleets and strengthening our resilience in emergency and disaster preparedness, mitigation and response, and also in capacity building in our country. And in order to fortify the growing partnership between the state and St. John, I today hereby direct, firstly, that the Ministry of Health establishes a framework of cooperation to co-opt 26,000 volunteers from the St. John Priory to strengthen our primary health care and emergency preparedness and response interventions all the way to community level. <clears throat> Secondly, that the Ministry of Health facilitates the establishment of a national trauma center and provide support towards the equipping of the highway trauma centers to further strengthen collaboration with St. John's Ambulance. <clears throat> Thirdly, under a program with the Ministry of Transport, we shall collaborate with St. John to train at least 200,000 border border riders on first aid, 
and structured approach to major medical incidents to boost first responder capacity in our country. And lastly, that the, national, the Ministry of Health shall jointly with our National Treasury and the Attorney General's Office formulate amendments to the St. John Ambulance of Kenya Act, CAP 258 of the Laws of Kenya, to deepen the partnership between the state and St. John by providing a framework for exchequer support to the association. So ladies and gentlemen, I once again congratulate the 31 postulants for their highly significant admittance into this most noble order. And I wish all of you the very best in your future endeavors. May the sacrifices that each and every one of you make every day for your fellow mankind be an inspiration to many more to live by the values that underpin the order's commitment to service. Pro fide, pro alti, e i latin si oni mimi. Pro totalitet hominam, for the faith and the service of humanity. Thank you. And God bless you all. Asante ni sana. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. I can request we stand for the blessings. And now, people of God, go forth into the world in peace. Be good of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Lend us no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Nasasa amani ya mungu. Ipitayo fahamu zote. Iwarinde mioyenyu na niazenyu katika hari ya kumjua na kumpenda mungu. Na mwana wake Yesu Kristo. Neo baraka ya mungu baba. Na mwana. Na roho mtakatifu. Iwe juu ya kila moja wenyu. Iwe juu ya St. John's. Iwe juu ya inchi yetu ya Kenya. Sasa na hata mirere. Amen. Tukiwa tumesalia kusimama, wacha tutulie wima kwa wimbo wa taifa. Fadhali wengine sote tuketi ili tuelekezwe namna ya mwishmi wa rais kuondoka pamoja na wote ambao ni washiriki. Uh, Your Excellency Sir, we are coming to the end of our service. I'm going to request that uh, after Your Excellency 
exit the hall. He will be followed by the procession in the reverse order that we came in. Could I kindly request that all the postulants leave through this side door on my left? The rest of you remain seated in church until you're given further instructions to leave. There will be a photo session and then we shall exit. Thank you very much. <laughs>